Hi Libra, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. This will be a six card spread having a look to see what could potentially be coming up for you. First card, the Six of Pentacles. Second card, the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the Justice card, then the Strength, the Magician, and the Two of Cups. Okay, a very powerful month lies ahead for you, Libra, starting off with the Six of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo coming through here with the Six of Pentacles. This is an ask for help, a cry for help, a need for help, something to do with finances, or a financial institution of some kind here. You may be asking for a loan. You may have an earth sign you may be asking, or they may be an earth sign that's asking you for some sort of assistance, though. It is a notion of giving, of caring, of generosity, but it can also be a stark or a very clear uh, contrast of a division here. You can see the difference in status here. So I do think that is, things are a little bit one-sided here. There may be someone that's giving more um, or investing more emotions or giving more of themselves or more resources, time, energy, and effort to someone else here. So things can be a little bit one-sided here. But what I love here is that there's two scales, and you are all about the scales. So it's almost like you get double whammy um double harmony like it's an absolutely amazing energy to see so even if things are one-sided towards the end of the month the last card you have throughout the month you've got the justice card and then towards the end of the month it's two people mirroring each other in behavior in love in emotion in communication it's seeing eye to eye really being on the same frequency here so i love that this has come up but it is a card of giving um and in, in, in a relationship sense, I do believe it's where it's someone that's working hard towards you to win your affections, win your love, to really um, show that they can commit to you. So this is a nice energy here. Um, but remember, initially, you may be starting this relationship off or the month off with, with one person being more involved than the other. But eventually, this will even out. So I think you might need to give it time. The Eight of Pentacles is here. I really feel something about, for some of you that have a... Um, a creative pursuit um, or an autonomous venture. You can see in this column here, the magician is a, master, is a master of his own craft. He's a performer. He's very good at what he does. So for those that have some sort of self-governing business or autonomous role within a company, um, you're really working towards um, your financial backing or capital backing. I can see that, especially because you have the strength card in the same column as the six of pentacles. So you're strengthening your resources here. Um, for those that are wanting to start or launch something, I see that you'll, you'll be doing this sometime this month. The legalities and contracts can be seen here with the justice card. Um, and all your hard work is being put into this. This is you expanding on your skills through a degree, qualifications, creditations, um, working on your finances, expanding your finances, or building on your existing skills here. I also feel like you're completing milestones when I see this Eight of Pentacles. So if you're in a relationship, um, some of you... Um, are reaching a beautiful milestone and I think it's in the form of an engagement or a marriage here. There's some sort of union taking place here whether this is in business, collaboration or in love. You're, you're um, you're you're entering a major milestone here. You're hit, you're approaching a major milestone. Um, I'm really happy for you because I think it's absolutely well deserved here, Libra. You've got the Justice card. This is something that's in your path. You've brought this upon yourself in the most beautiful way. This is the Justice card, Karma. This is it's almost like the universe sitting here. If the universe could personify, had a you know a persona, um, could personify an object or thing, it would be this right here. And it'll also be, it's like the judge, you know, this is what you're deserving of. This is this is something you're entitled to, Libra. You've created this into your existence. You've brought about it in your life. And now you get to enjoy the rewards of it um, with this beautiful karmic card of justice. Um, it can be legalities. It can be that you're making a judgment call here. Um, it can be that you're finally, you know, it's in the same column as these two people here. So some of you are definitely finally reaching the same level as someone around you. Um, maybe if things have been a little bit imbalanced and this person has been giving more to them or you've been giving um, more, uh, you, you, this person has been giving more to you or you've been giving more to them, sorry. I, I do see there's a bit of an evening out. So everything is balancing out here very slowly, but you've got two scales here. So, you know, the scales can be tipped, but I do believe the scales are tipping in your favor here because you've come up in your own power card here, which says there's a lot of decision making you're going to make this month around relationships. 
Um, there's a lot of fairness. There's a lot of equality. But it's something that's going to make you happy. It's something that's going to bring out the best traits of you, the best version of you. Um, inner happiness here as well with the Justice card. But it can also be seen as contracts, legalities, um, documents, paperwork, some of you that are encountering some sort of legalities, I feel like there's someone that's going to support you here. I'm not sure if this is a lawyer, a representative, an immigration lawyer, someone that's going to help you with finance maybe, but there's someone that's coming into a union here that's going to extend a helping hand to you. So there's a very benevolent person around you, whether they are male or female. There's two Leos that have come up, Aries and also Libra, so an Earth energy. So I'm not sure if they're under one of these signs. I do believe they're coming to help you in some way here. I do. I think they're going to provide you resources or capital or money. Um, but this could very well be love. I do see that this is a twin flame down here. Um, some of you, if you've been concentrating on career or um, autonomous ventures and businesses, this last column here, it could happen towards the later part of the month. You do, I, I do believe you have a twin flame coming in. Um, it's karmic. That's it's a karmic connection between the two of you. Uh, your souls are being brought together because karmically you've achieved the same things in life, or you're needing to learn the same lessons. And you're coming in, and I see that you're going to be very happy with this person, Libra. Um, and this is very, very exciting. Um, and then you have the strength card. So this is Leo energy coming through with the strength card. What's beautiful is that the two people here, two entities, two parties. Two cards that are bringing in natural affinity. It can also be seen as 8, the number 8 or 88. Natural affinity, a natural drawing in, a closeness um, between you and this other person here. If you do have a Leo around you, this Leo is supposed to be in your path. You're naturally very drawn to each other. Um, maybe you're best friends. Maybe you're um, working together. Maybe you're going to collaborate together in the future. But this person is bringing you abundance into your life in some way, whether through money, whether through love, companionship, affection, or whether through support. They're bringing more into your life. So I feel like this person is key for you. But strength can also be um, exhibiting physical strength, mental strength, strength of skills, leadership, prominence, um, dominating a field, an industry, dominating a relationship here, taking reins of a relationship, taking initiative to express yourself, how you feel, your concerns, your feelings, your thoughts, um, anything like this. And look at that. It's you that's coming into this strength here, Libra. It's you that's coming into your power and governing your own decisions. You're really working on your skills here. I'm not sure if this is internal, external, um, like spiritually within you or um, in the exterior, but you're working on these skills and you're creating something really significant here for yourself. And it could have something to do with some sort of legacy here. The magician is a beautiful energy of manifestations, new beginnings, new starts. Some of you definitely do have this, you're manifesting a new twin flame um, relationship here or soulmate relationship. I see them as twins. I do, because I feel like they're the similar similar height, similar features, and they're coming in with their cups both towards each other. But look, it can be a soulmate um, relationship as well. The thing is, with the Magician card, it's new. It's someone that has everything there. Everything is out there on the table here. This could be someone that also is quite creative, also is quite successful working on their career right now. It could be in fitness, it could be in finance, it could be in legalities, they could be a justice of peace, um, they could work for the government or for the council, but this person is coming in and you two would make a very, very nice match. You'd complement each other's life in a really big way here. So I do see destined people coming in for you this month, but back to the magician. I see him as an Aries, he's the first of the deck, he's the first of the tarot deck, the first of the zodiac wheel. Um... He is a jack of all trades, though. He has pentacles, wands, cups. So he's flexible. He's versatile. So this means you can manifest a lot of very different, very versatile things into your life, not just in relation to love. But I do believe love is definitely on the forefront for you or a relationship, some sort of validation that you'll receive from the universe with the magician here who brings signs and things um, because of this, you'll receive some sort of validation that this person is very much um, your twin flame. But I do see with the Magician card here that it is um, possibly you being inspired by someone here as well as a source of inspiration with the Magician card. This could be a celebrity, a tarot reader. This could be someone that's in the public eye in some way. This could be you. 
But I feel like with the magician, it's people knowing your name, Libra. Um, you, especially in in the career sense, with the eight of eight of pentacles, you're doing something different, and you're going to stand out from the crowd by your work ethic, by the way you're doing things. It's it's a maybe even it's a little bit unconventional here, but that's okay. This is you, um, and and go with that because I can see that it can bring you a lot of wonderful um, things. Especially if you are dealing with an Aries, you know Leo, wonderful things occurring here between the two of you in friendship, in business, in love. But I am excited. Let's have a look at this relationship coming in. Two of Cups, twin flame relationship with someone that's coming in here. This person wants something serious. Um, they're committed. They are. Maybe not at first. At first you might have reservations, Libra. At first you might think the, the connection isn't as strong. It might not be that it really hits you hard, electric connection as soon as you first meet. And for some of you, I wouldn't be surprised if actually your connection when you first meet, it takes work and effort. But eventually it's going to grow very, very strong and you will see how this person is your equal and why you have come into each other's paths here. It's a face-to-face -face meeting for some of you. It could be in regards to work or through work, through charity events, through finance work, through um, classes of fitness, for example, through um, a concert or, or a, a public venue. But I do see the two of you meeting face-to-face. -face. It could even be at a doctor's office. This person has the ancient medical symbol here. This could be someone that's in works with the medicinal field, um, maybe works with the government and medicine at the same time or, or large um, organizations here controlled by the state, controlled by the um, the city, the council um, of some kind here. But this is you, and even if you're single here, Libra, this is you going on a lot of dates. Karmically, you're attracting a lot of people because you're ready. You're in this phase where you're you're working on yourself and you're attracting a lot of other people in the process here with the Two of Cups. But you are coming together. This is a union or an engagement. Some of you might be invited to an engagement or a wedding as well um, is what I'm seeing here. So if it's not your own, there is a possible proposal in the family or in your extended circle of friends maybe that may be happening. This collaboration of sorts as well. Two people acquiescing on something, agreeing on a contract. You know, and there's deliberation. I'm not sure if you've worked with this person before. It could be like a financial institution. I do see money, improvement in money, growth in money, because you are going from the six to the eight. So it could be this as well that's coming up for you, Libra. And as a result, you're growing your finances too. But most prominently, I do believe it's love. And I do believe that's coming in for you. And I'm so excited, especially those that are meeting a twin flame or receiving some sort of validation from the universe that the person you're currently involved with is a twin flame for you. So let's have a look. Another six cards. Okay, the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Okay, starting off with the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of things swirling in the air with the Seven of Cups. This is a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, and the Seven of Cups does show a bit of scattered energy. It is an energy where you're feeling there's a lot of questions that need answering. So I think this is the validation that I've mentioned earlier. There's going to be some sort of signs, symbols, or synchronicities. I, I do believe it's a card of milestones as well, um, which I also mentioned you know, the, the future house, the, 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 the perfect lover, the perfect relationship, the perfect life. I feel like it's some sort of milestone and it can very well be um, um, our milestones in love. So that's absolutely beautiful to see. But I do think you're manifesting a lot. I do think you're... Um, you're in a bit of a selection process here. I think you see your vision. You know what you want with this person. You know the future that you want to have. And it could very well be another water sign, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Um but I do believe there's something serious happening. There's questions that need answering, but they're going to come in the form of milestones. And I do believe those milestones are the evidence um, that you need to really understand how special this person is that's around you. For others, I feel like there's a lot of options in love and you're selecting. You're being quite selective here. And I do believe you have the upper hand because you're coming up as the Libra. I did mention a lot of attraction. The magician attracts a lot of versatile people from career with different sort of different interests. Um, I do believe there's another air sign 
that's going to be around you, another Gemini, Libra or Aquarius that's interested in you. And this person is almost going to be impatient. Like I feel like they're coming in very quickly. They might be coming on very strong. They might want to put a title to your relationship or a label to what you have very soon after meeting. I do think this person is going to pose you a lot of questions. It's almost like they're going to ask you a lot of questions about what you want in love, what you've previously had in love, what you're searching for. So they're wanting to get to know you because right now I feel like this person feels you're a little bit mysterious to them Libra and they need to get to know you a little bit more and the only way they're going to do that is posing questions with you but I see there's an air sign that's been fantasizing about a future with you there's definitely a fire sign around you in Aries, Sagittarius or Leo who's keen on moving things forward with you, the page of ones. There's a message of love. Now, I'm not sure if this is someone confessing their love to you, um, if this is someone traveling out to you. This could be someone you meet from abroad because he is sitting next to the Eight of Cups. Some of you could be meeting a twin flame overseas, either on a business trip, on a holiday. The page of ones is a messenger, so this person may have to travel very often for work um, or works with messages or communications um, or works as like the middleman or the middlewoman in an industry as well. Um, they could have a an, quite an exotic background as well with the pyramids in the background. They could come from a desert region, um, parts of Asia, North Africa, the Middle East maybe. Um, they're quite exotic, I find, or they're very drawn to exotic locations, or they may come from a destination where it's very, very warm. This person is very passionate. They could be younger than you. They're quite adventurous, very passionate, very free-spirited, very attractive, is a very strong attraction to this person. I feel like they're well built, they're quite athletic and they look after themselves is what I'm seeing here with the Page of Wands. But this this is quite lovey-dovey messages with the Page of Wands. And not that it's 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 very teenage like, but it's it makes you feel very childlike again, you know, the butterflies in your stomach, you're excited to hear from them. It's a bit giddy. It's still kind of new, but it it, it evokes a very nice emotion. Um, you know, it makes you genuinely quite happy here is what I'm seeing Libra. Moving on, you have the Eight of Cups. Some of you are taking a break from someone. Maybe this break, this hiatus, time apart, whether geographically um, or just space apart, not having communication with each other for quite some time, you know, eight hours, eight weeks, eight days. This, this will give you validation that this person is your twin flame. I also feel for some of you that are leaving a relationship where there's too much... Um, there's too much one-sided things happening here because the Seven of Cups is sitting next to the Six. The Six is something that's being one-sided, which then, of course, poses a lot of questions about the direction and, and the promise of a real love, longevity with this person here. And as a result, is going to actually be someone walking away from you. Now, this could be you too, Libra. But this could be, you know, this is... Some of you are not receiving an answer. There's too many questions, and, and by the end of the month, these questions will still be unanswered. You'll still feel a little bit imbalanced in this relationship. Some of those two scales won't come through for some of you, and as a result, you're leaving a relationship behind. Or maybe it's because you're not feeling yourself that you need to leave something behind here. For some of you, it could just signify travels with a lover, travel plans with a lover, traveling for business, taking this person with you. Um, but the Eight of Cups is genuinely seen... Um, as the search for something deeper. So you're looking for something deeper here and I think you're about to find it. So whether you're involved in someone now, I think the next relationship you're involved with could actually be your twin flame. There still might be some sort of soul searching that needs to happen here as indicated by the seven, uh, by the eight of cups until you move forward. Um, I am seeing a bit of competition, so options in love potentially with the five of pent, uh, five of uh, wands. Someone from the exterior or the outside could be involved here, but I also feel like the two of you are very passionate about your own desires, wants, or goals in life, and for some reason these two are not going to align. Um, I don't feel like you'll be seeing eye to eye to someone here, and it could very well be a fire sign in Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo that you're not actually connecting with um, eye to eye. And as a result, it may create a little bit of imbalance in this relationship. And maybe that's when you get that sort of enlightened thought, that inspired thought to take time apart or to ask yourself the important questions or something like this in regards to love. Let's move on and have a look at your career and creative pursuits, though. Okay, Eight of Wands with the Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords, Six of Cups, 
the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. Okay, the Eight of Wands, climbing that ladder to success. This is ambition. New goals will be created. There's a notion of elevation here. You do have leadership with the Strength card, so I'm wondering if some of you will be promoted or will be receiving some sort of promotion because I did say there's an increase in finances. You're making quite a leap here from the Six of Pentacles to the Eight, and Eight has come up three times. Eight of um, pentacles, eight with the strength and eight with the one cards, which is all about abundance, money, and attracting more um, indulgent things into your life here in regards to career. So this is very, very nice. Also, a lot of correspondence with fire sign clients and or customers can bring you a lot more money. Or there's a strengthening of a client relationship here that's happening for some of you as well. This could be in business too if you have one. Uh, because the Ten of Wands is all about hard work. I do believe there's a fire sign that's very committed, that's showing their skills. There, there's something about an increased... Um, increased role or responsibility with the Ten of Wands. So I'm not sure if some of you are accepting more responsibility for more pay. But again, it's it's going to be quite demanding. So just be prepared, uh, Libra. It's going to be quite burdensome, even to the point where it might be overwhelming here for you. And you could be encountering some sort of struggle here because you do have the Ace of Swords. And although this is something you can undertake, absolutely, I do believe it's something that's going to prove quite challenging. Um, I think there's a lot of... Um, things that need to be filtered through like I'm not sure if this is like dis discrepancies or there's a lot of restructuring or there's a lot of changes you're going to have to implement I always see with the ace of swords that it's slicing away negativity like cutting through the vines so cutting out the middlemen cutting out um the people that no longer serve you, the 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 projects that outgrown you, the projects that have proved lucrative or have failed. I think it's all about getting you know this this getting rid of cutting away, slicing away of anything that doesn't serve you. But I do believe those that will encounter some sort of promotion, there's going to be a lot of hard work, and I do see that some of you will be dealing with a boss. Um, or as someone in, also in a management level very similar to you that feels they're more entitled than you. So just be careful of that, Libra. I know you're big on equality, but this is definitely going to agitate you, um, as it would to most people. But look, the next card you have here is the Six of Cups. So there's something in early stages that's happening here with the Six of Cups. This is also an opportunity to grow, learn, or develop with a business. Now, the Ace of Swords is seen as a brand new opportunity gifted from the hand of God to the air sign where you can prevail, you can triumph, and you can lead from the front. It's particularly based around communication, logistics, project management, um, customer service, client relations, etc. There's a lot of communication and correspondence involved, and this is where you're going to really shine. So there is is a brand new opportunity opening up for some of you. There will be rigorous training involved, but you'll absorb these skills and use them to your advantage is what I'm seeing with the Six of Cups. Now, for some of you, it's an online training pursuit. Um, it's a workshop. It's a training facility. It's a training opportunity that's offered directly with the role or with the company, which is really good because the children symbolize learning, growth, development, etc. It's in full blossom though, so I feel like you're going to take to this, this workshop or this sales training or whatever it is very, very well here. In fact, I think you'll have a natural for, forte for this. You have the infinity symbols here, so this is natural talent and cycles. So I like that this is coming up around you. I think you've got a, you'll have you'll have a keen interest in what this opportunity is. But for some of you, it could very well, um, this new job, this new opportunity could very well, very well involve children, teaching, learning, uh, finances, charity, helping people rehabilitate, helping nurture those that are ill, um, those that need rehabilitation or care. It could be in finance, construction sites, building, engineering, project management. You know, you do have the justice card here, so legalities, um, criminology, policing, working with clients, working in medicine maybe. Um, with the magician card could be autonomous venture and also with mental strength, physical strength or spirituality. So there's a plethora of things you could be working with, which is very nice. Um, but I do see for some of you, there's a notion of treading lightly here. So I, I do think this is around a boss, someone superior, because I see you looking to the hierophant here. So I'm not sure if there's someone that you're going to need to tread lightly around or this person. Again, there's a notion of entitlement. I did I did sense that you would feel this entitlement too. However, I also feel this Taurus, maybe the heart with the hierophant, feels this equally. And as a result, there's someone you're going to have to tread very lightly around um, is what I'm seeing. There could be a bit of dishonesty or even theft, internal theft that's happening around the um, 
the workplace or something taboo. I always associate the Seven of Swords with something that's taboo, something that's not really allowed, but it's being done. It's maybe being done illegally. It's maybe, you know, you haven't filled out the correct paperwork or someone that you worked with hasn't filled out the co correct corresponding paperwork. Um, and then you might encounter some sort of legal battles or something like this because of that. So just be careful if this is you in an autonomous venture here, um, Libra, not to get involved or, or try to do things the right way by registering correctly, filling in the, the allocated paperwork, um, you know, letting the IRS or the tax office know what it is that you're doing, the income, you know, it's declaration here for some of you as well, because it's obviously towards someone or something important, the Hierophant, specialized energy here, this is Taurus, um, but the Hierophant is, is an expert in something. It's someone that's elevated and well-revered. I feel like there's some sort of presentation taking place in the workplace. Um, someone's going to be making a lot of creative decisions. It's going to suddenly put a spanner in the works, though, because I see a lot more people having a lot more jobs to do. Um, so I'm not sure if this is a boss, if this is management, CEO, whoever this is around you, but there's new things that are going to be implemented. Um... Or created and I don't think there's it's is it's as if you don't have much say because this person for some reason has ultimate authority around you so I'm not sure if this is their business or they've got a lot of control or management over this business but I do believe seeing this card that there is someone very powerful around you um, is what I'm seeing here. But it's also expertise or expert knowledge. Some of you are entering a very expert field or industry. Um, and this could actually be you sitting on top of you, uh, on top here. And you've got people reporting to you. You know, there's two people here, two children here. Um, I'm wondering if some of you will have, will be given a team of two or two people will start reporting to you. Or there's another that you'll be working with very, very closely. Um, you know, to lead in a business idea or a business project um, is what I'm seeing. But the key to your success lies in the people that you work with and the, the business relationships, the professional relationships um, that you're able to be um, able to establish and the business contacts you're able to nurture as well, Libra. So look, I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been insightful.